G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're heading up to the Mount Wells Shelter on the Bibbulmun Trek. So here we are, Mount Wells Shelter. This place is the old lookout for the uh, fire watch and the fire watchman used to actually live in here while he was on duty. So I'll quickly show you around the inside and then we'll go for a walk around. Uh, before we go inside, you can see we've got a nice picnic bench here to relax on, cook your dinner on. Yeah, just underneath the veranda there. And we've already got one, two, three, four, five hooks on the outside for you hanging your packs on. And as we enter, you'll see the small room here. Uh, this is big enough for one person really comfortably or two people to snuggle up and it's normally the sought after one when people are on, on the bib on the track but there's also stories of there a snake living underneath the actual bench here I don't know if that's true I've never seen it when I've been here it may just to be put it may just to be put, to put people off <coughs> pinching up on first now into the main area which is the old living area for the watchman but on the left we've got another room here We're big enough there for what's there one two three four five maybe six and if we have a couple over the top as well maybe seven so it'll probably be seven at a squeeze but say five comfortably and then we're in here the actual living area and they've got a bench in here for you to trip You've got your books here, to log book to sign in, where you come from, where you're going, how long you're expecting to be on the trail. And a couple of seats here, they're normally outside, a little picnic table. And we've got another four hooks in here. One, double one on the back of the door. And I didn't look in here, so let's have another look. Yes, and we've got another three in here. So plenty of hooks for your uh, packs to go on. Now the stove is the old fire stove that the watchman used to cook his meals on and keep warm but it cannot be used. It's never, or oh, should I say never, it's not had a clean for a long time and because it's sold it's not safe so they've got a notice asking you not to use it. If we walk back on the outside there's your rake down there so you can rake up there's a little dust pan down there so you can keep the place clean ready for the next hikers to come in all right let's go this way this is the old watchtower the top of it they've taken down but you can actually go up there to that platform they got the railing and that's it you're not allowed any higher anymore the first time i came here the actual room was on the top and you was able to go and have a look around but to storm damage they've actually taken it down because it wasn't safe there's a couple of chairs up that on that middle platform some fantastic views up there okay first water tank on the right hand side of the cabin i think that's the only one but i'm not certain i'll go and have a look Yep, yeah, that's the only one. Now this space is here for your tent. Not many on this side, I don't believe, but here's one, which is the one I used. Is it? No. No, this one wasn't here, I think. But you've got one here big enough for a couple of tents if you want to. And when I say tents, it's the average two-person hiking tent. It's not the flattest, a bit bumpy, but use a ground sheet and a decent sleeping mat and you'll be okay. There's a pitch there. That's big enough for one. Like I said it's a bit stones, a, bit, a little bit bumpy but fairly even, uh, level. And that's a animal track going down there. This is growing fantastic since the first time I was here. I could actually sit in my tent and I could look straight out over 
the view because there'd been a bushfire a couple of years before. But this is a region, it's just beautiful. Okay, let's go and have a look on the other side of the shelter where it's signed for the tent pitches. So I had a walk up into this one. The last kilometre coming north to south is a fairly steep one all the way up. So be prepared for that. They save the best till last. Okay, this one is signposted for your tent pitches this side. So let's go and have a look. First we got a little track going to the left. Let's follow that one first. Now, here's two small ones it looks like put together. So you could get two tents on here, quite comfortably actually. It's fairly level, a little bit going downhill from left to right as I'm looking at it, but nothing serious. There's a rock on this side, there's a rock on that side, but nice straight down the middle. So that's a nice one. Let's walk back down. And the track goes this way a little bit. Or joins back onto the original track coming in just there. Here's another tent pitch. It's about, I'd say about 85% level. You've got a bit of rock and stone in the middle of this one. As long as you put your tent across the left hand side, you'll fit one in nice and comfortable. Or if you've got a single person, why not go nice down the right hand side. But from left to right, with that rock in there and the main bulge and the slope, it wouldn't be very comfortable. But like I said, Use your ground sheet that protects the bottom of your tent and use a nice comfortable sleep mat so if you've got an air or a self inflating one you should be okay there that should keep all the bumps off your back and you should have a good night's sleep and that's the only two down this side well three and the next sign is a toilet your dunny your drop toilet. Oh now before we get there, we've got to walk past it. Is a fire ring. You've got your barbecue plate on it, you got your hook to hang your pot and your fire ring. Uh, that track down there is north to south. That is fairly nice and smooth going downhill that one is not very steep it's shallow is the word I was looking for so if you're going down that way in the morning don't worry it should be okay now this is like I said a dunny now these are drop toilets they're composting so only drop the toilet tissue down here no chemicals no wet wipes or baby wipes because the material no chemicals in them destroys the compost and ladies if it's that time in the month you have to carry your sanitary stuff out with you because that will destroy the compost in the toilet. So there's your toilet. Just simple. Now you're lucky there is toilet roll in this one at the moment. But toilet roll normally is not provided. Let's close the door. So always remember to carry your own loo roll. But the volunteers help keep the track and around the shelters sometimes they'll bring some toilet roll in and put them in the toilets so now final let's go and climb up the tower just up to that middle platform and show you the view from up there Excuse the noise of the wind, it's 
going to get worse as we go up here. Steep steps up this one. Should be using two hands but holding the camera. It's a bit of a bugger. Uh, climbing risk. Uh, this fire tower is not suitable for climbing by members of the public. Uh, here we go. Let's show you the way you come from north. You see all the hills in a different distance there. And you wind all the way through them to get here. You see smoke in the distance, they've got a control burn. And over here, over the west, you can see all the haze and the smoke over the hills. And the of you. And that's the way you're going to be heading south if you're heading south and the opposite direction north if you're heading south to north. But just sit up here with your cuppa and it'll be just beautiful. There you are, it's Mount Wells Shelter. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, please go down below and click on the subscribe button, click the notification bell next to it and select all, click the thumbs up button and like button, and if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care.